Hello and welcome to this episode of Audio-Based Content, an improv comedy podcast. I'm your host, Aaron's V. Felder. On this show, people come over and do long-form improv scenes with me. On today's episode, I am joined by Bill Hillsman for a constituent meeting with their senator. Thank you for meeting with me today, Mr. Senator. I really appreciate you, uh, you know, having making time for me to come to you in your office today here and and, and speak to you. Oh yeah, about- it's uh, it's important to me to get to meet and really see my constituents. I, I appreciate that, Senator. I got a I got a real problem oh. in, in my town. Oh, absolutely. I like to think that all of the towns are my town as well. Oh, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. I mean, uh, it has been 36 years since a senator has visited our town. Oh, you know. But, uh, business. I understand. You're very busy yeah. people. Economy. The economy. It's, it's not what it used to the be. The planning. All the things you do. I do a lot. Trust yes. me. Yes. Have you talked to my assistant, Carol? Uh, yeah, she's the one who set up this uh, appointment. Oh, she's for me. great. She will verify that I uh, I'm a very busy man. Right. I understand you're busy. That's it. I don't. I'm not saying you should visit our town, but I think you should know what's going on. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. Let me. Let in, me know. In Bloomfield. I'll write it down here. Okay. Oh, you do that yourself. I will eventually That's admirable. have. Uh, yeah, Carol it's will admirable scan it in. That you do that yourself. When I watch the TV and I see the senators. Other people are writing. Oh. And I go, why don't we vote for those people? Yes, yes. Well, that's actually, it's, it's really interesting. Uh, we, we ran the demos on my uh-huh. electoral uh-huh. campaign, and uh-huh. it turns out that writing with your hands is 20% of the voters. Really? Oh, yeah. So that gets 20% like that? Bada bang, right away. Wow. That's incredible. It's well worth my time to be writing this down. Okay, good, good, good. So in Bloomfield. Bloomfield. And I know we're a small town. Just 4,000 4, of us. 4,000? Yeah. Okay. So it's, you're down a little bit. We are down. I haven't checked in with uh, Bloomfield in a in hot minute. <laughs> I know. We were 20,000 just two years ago. Two years, yeah. Wow. So real, things have really gone downhill for it's you. It's bad. It's bad what's happening there. The town has become overrun with sheep. With sheep? With sheep. Well, I mean, that sounds... With all due respect, fantastic. No, the cars, they can't drive. They can't drive. Okay. Okay. I see, I see where maybe you're having an even, issue with that. Even the, even the gas station goes out of business. Because there's not enough gas being dispensed? or Exactly. There's no customers. Mm. And the gas truck can't even get to the gas station. Oh, goodness. That, what, do you, uh, what do you do? That's a problem. It's a problem. And, uh, you know, as the Senate, call me Brian, by the way. Brian? Please. Senator Brian? I, I Not even Senator, just Brian. We're like, friends. Sen Brian? Should I abbreviate it? You can, you could abbreviate Sen Brian. Sure. Okay. Whatever makes you comfortable. Okay. Yeah. And could you remind me your name? How about name? Sen Bry? Sen Bry? I abbreviate both. I'll take it. You know, in, Sen Bry. In college, they called me Simba. Really? Oh, yeah. So, it's, you know, it's a little... Like in the Lion King movie? Exactly, yeah. Uh, when I was uh, indoctrinated, we'll say, they, uh, they held me from a balcony by my shoulders. Oh. And I screamed. You screamed? Yes. Are you afraid of heights? Oh, I'm terrified of heights. I wow. hate heights. Uh, Not me. I'm a tightrope walker. Are you really? Yeah. That's incredible. Are you having any issues with your occupation? What, with all the sheep? Yeah. It's very difficult for me. I have to. I don't do. I don't. Do, nobody does tie roping in Bloomfield. Right. I, I have to fly. I have to drive to the airport. I can't get to the airport. Oh goodness! Yeah, independent contractor life. That's a hard one. It is. It's you tough. Know, taxes. It's tough. The only way to get in and out of Bloomfield right now is helicopter. Helicopter. Wow. And that's expensive. That's fun sounding though. I mean, honestly, it is fun. Bloomfield, Bloomfield starting to sound like a, a place to be. I no, mean, it's cheap, not. It's terrible. It's incredible. It's terrible. I got to get down. I, I got the helicopter once. One time. One time to go to my niece's wedding. Wasn't worth it. The helicopter, thousands of dollars. Was it a nice wedding? It was a beautiful ceremony. That's fantastic. That's great. You know, I, I love a good wedding. I haven't been to a wedding in 15 years. 
15 years yeah you know that's a really long time it's tough yeah i i want to have one one time eventually your own wedding i would love to have a it's wedding. not worth it you don't think so no i don't know Never. i want a, a big cake you kidding me but i try to go to a wedding one at least once a year do you have that many friends getting married no if, if it gets almost a year since the last wedding i look for a wedding oh that is very interesting yeah you start looking for uh people wearing engagement rings okay and you talk to them interesting and then you know you try to get really close to them uh, but if you're like oh when is the date do you have a date and if they go next week you go all right never mind get get out of here but if they're like five months from now six months from now you're like that's enough time to get close enough with someone to where they're gonna invite you to their wedding last minute oh yeah okay you know i actually i do the same thing but for different reasons what do you mean i i love to talk to people who are recently engaged oh what it's your reasons uh i would i would like to perhaps get in on that what what do you mean like break up the marriage break well, up the- i don't have to break up the marriage i like to think of myself as a great unifier uh-huh. and perhaps you know a unity could go beyond the two of them and perhaps include you include me i've uh like some sort of third like a third wheel? I wouldn't think of Are it as there? a third wheel so much like as... Like you're an equal part. Uh, yes. It's a wheel for sure. Are there three? Maybe. Okay. So you're there, and they're there. Right. But their relationship started without you. That is that is true. And it, it, it has shown me that it, it's harder than you would think. Right. To, because to they've already decided they want to spend their life together. Right. And I'm just the now realizing that I would like to be a part of their life. I think what you need to do then is set out to do that from the beginning. Meet two other people who want to do that very thing. Two other, Instead it. of, here's what you should do. When you see the person with the engagement ring, right. instead of going and talking to them, wait a minute and see if there's somebody else like you that goes and talks to them and then go talk to that person. Oh. No, I had not considered Because that. they want... To do what you want to do, right? Find people like myself. They want to marry two people. So then you and them, all you got to do, once you find one love like that, all you got to do is recruit one more. And then you got your three-way marriage. That is some forward thinking. That is incredible. Thank you, Senator. Yeah, I need more people like- Senbrai. Senbrai, thank you. I need more people like you around here. Absolutely. I I just think you came in asking me for help. Well, I need you to come get rid of the sheep. Ah, that's right. Yes, the sheep. The sheep. Yeah. We're, we uh, tried We tried letting loose uh, venomous cobra snakes, that thinking is, they would bite the sheeps, and the sheeps would die, and we could just, you know, shovel them away or something. In my experience- It didn't happen. Yeah, that's, that's 100%. That's just going to add cobra snakes in the place of the sheep eventually, five it years down the line. didn't even do that. Mm. Now we have both. Oh, Okay. The sheep, a couple of them died, and then they developed their own vaccination for the cobra poison, gave it to all the other sheep. Now they're immune. That is very interesting. These sheep, they're incredibly intelligent. I might need to... Do you know? Are, do, the, do the sheep value writing by hand as well? I have no idea, but they can't vote the sheep. Well, they do seem to vote among themselves. If I can sway that my way, I might be interested in some sheep voters. They do not care for humans at all. Not at all. Well, if they, if they, if a group of them surrounds you, hmm. they'll hold you down and shave all the hair off your body. That is a that is a catch twenty two right there. <laughs> it's uh, it's very poetic. Is that a catch twenty two? What's no, the one where it's poetic justice? Is it's, what you're thinking of? I'm thinking uh, there's a movie where uh, it happens to you. Do you do it so it happens to you? What's that? What's that? Poetic justice. That's a Fahrenheit four fifty one. <laughs> no, that's also not that. Animal Farm. It's it's similar to what happens in Animal Farm. That's true. But they were pigs. Yes. Have we tried pigs in order to help the cause of the venomous cobra snakes? I'm just pigs? spitballing here. I mean, well, there's only about four pigs in the town. Four pigs. Yeah, we could do better. As well, they're prize pigs. 
How pri- all four of them? All prize winning pigs. All four. So there were four awards, and they each got one. They got first, second, third, and fourth place for best pig in the whole state at the state fair. Okay, that's a bigger scale. Bloomfield's pumping out good pigs, just small pigs, small quantity pigs. But all it's, you know what our trick is? What's that? If one comes out and it doesn't look absolutely perfect, like it could be an all-star prize winning pig, we get rid of it. Okay. So You're- then the g- pigs that are all-star prize winnings, right. they're not influenced by the lesser pigs. Okay. <laughs> they you live sort a of life a, of pure supremacy. A regal pig upbringing yes exactly that's interesting that's great so then they walk into the pig show you know with kind of a uh, confident hoity toity confident walk perhaps a they look the judge right in the eyes that's what we train them to do okay look them right in the eyes and just make that contact and look at we train the pigs to look at the judge like they're better than the judge are you giving me the pig gaze right now this is powerful i am giving you the pig gaze that is i want you to listen to me wow <laughs> I am motivated. It's a power. It's a power move. And you got pigs doing this. We got pigs doing it, and they win every time. I need Sometimes to get some the pigs judges like that. fight over which one of our pig wins because they're all so great. Actually, yeah. I think judges honestly do that all the time. Fight. Well, they they disagree about which is who best. wins. Yeah. If yeah. It, otherwise, you don't need judges. That's true. Yeah. I need some of these pigs. Do you think we could get some of these pigs With down Bloomfield here? Bloomfield will not spare the pigs. Oh, I need I if need a little... If we lose the pigs, what do we have? Look, if I'm doing Bloomfield a solid sheep. here, I'm going to need a little bit in return. Solid? You're our senator. Yeah, you're welcome. I went to the mayor. What did he do for you? He was on vacation. Yeah, so not a lot done there, huh? He's in the Caribbean, and he can't come back because of the sheep. The sheep. That's what he's saying now. And then we got, I went to the governor. Now, governor, what'd he do for you? Nothing. Yeah, nothing. Here I am. I'm a senator. I went to my congressman. Okay. My, ho- my representative my, right. in the House. It's congressman. Nothing. Bacon. I really thought he would have done something for you. But here I am with you today. He's a nice guy. I had to tunnel out to meet with you. Well, that explains the tatters. And on the your dirt. Clothes. Yeah. I just assumed and you were the smell. a dirty person. Yeah, well, I'm, I wasn't that clean before I did it, but I figured I knew I was going to be tunneling. You Why? don't have to wear your Sunday. Well, I'm not going to shower right. before I tunnel. Okay, I, I and I didn't. I thought it'd be rude. I didn't know which was ruder: come in dirty or ask if you have a shower. Right, I don't have a shower here as really? well. So I thought for some reason I thought senators' offices, bathrooms probably had everything. Oh, senators' bathrooms, I mean, we're talking one-ply TP. No. I bring my own stuff half the time. It's, it's just brutal. Wow. Have you heard of dude wipes? Dude wipes? Yeah. No. It's, uh, it's like super TP. It's all super wet. Super TP. Yeah. But it, oh, it doesn't make me do feel that. bad. We, 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 all, we all use septic tanks in Bloomfield. Oh, septic tanks. Okay. Yeah. This is, uh, I'll tell Can't. you what, this Bloomfield situation is getting very out of hand. It is. Thank you. Thank you, Senator. This is devastating news. Send Bri. Send Bri, please. Yes. Thank you, Thank Send Bri. So are you going to do something? I'm thinking about, about it. About the sheep? I'm definitely thinking about it. They're very smart. We I tried just... so many things. Different kinds of traps. Like we set up nets. Mm-hmm. And we put sheep food on the nets. Right. So the sheep would be attracted. To and the then sheep. we could... Yeah, we could snag them up. Yank them. Yeah, yeah, like you know, like we tied each corner of the net. You understand. To a tree. You right. to, I'm familiar. Yeah, with a pulley, and we did a thing. And the, and the sheep, they went on there. They ate the food, looked right at us, got out scissors. Some of them even got out chainsaws. Goodness. Uh, hedge trimmers. And they cut... They just cut the b- big hole in the net around the food, mm. and then they just stood on it and ate the food. So, with all due respect, it sounds like these are rather dexterous sheep. What do you mean? I just think that maybe my handwriting point earlier was a little more valid than you g- gave me credit for. The handwriting point? Oh, yeah. I, could, I bet I could sway these sheep. Again, 20% they don't like right humans. away, writing things with your hand. That's a sign of trust. Are you going to disguise yourself as a sheep? Oh, no need. I'm a senator. I got power. 
Oh, okay. All right. You understand. Power and influence, of course. Yes. Economy. But she, can they even vote? You're going to pass a bill that says I sheep can vote? I could it get sounds sheep. like you're doing the opposite of what I'm asking you to do. Instead of getting rid of the sheep, it sounds like you're capitalizing on the sheep. The sheep maybe could be useful. And I, I've, I've already made my offer. I need pigs. And if I can't get pigs, pigs. I can't get rid of the sheep. So, so if we... Get, wait. How many pigs to get rid of the sheep? I'm going to need probably six pigs. We only have I four. I understand you only have four. I'm just need I need you to meet me halfway. If I am if truly If there's going to be two other pigs, they're not going to be prize winning pigs. Could we invent a lesser prize? I don't think you want those pigs. The lesser pigs? No, the lesser pigs maybe, but not those top 4. Cuz they're going to come in here and they're going to give you that look. And then pretty soon they'll be senator. That's a That's a really Dark thought. What do you mean? I, they're manipulative. I know. I, I mean, that you would even suggest that there would be a time I would not be the senator of this great state. I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't mean it like that. Oh, it's, you know, you came in here and you tore me down. But if you start letting farm animals vote. Well done. If you start letting farm animals vote. Pretty soon, farm animals, farm animals are going to run. Farm animals? I can, I can run against a farm animal. Look at me. I ran against a person, and I won. That's true. Right. Do you not like me? I, I like you. I voted for you. Did you? I even donated to your campaign. Uh, that's, that's... It wasn't much. That's great. It was $12.56. That's actually a lot. In my mind. $12.56? A, a, a lot of my campaign was funded by very small, small dona- donations. That's what I heard. There is, a, there is a significant portion of the population that, uh, that donates in small amounts. Yep. They actually, they align really, really closely to those that will vote for you for writing with your hands. Oh. Very similar groups of people. If every uh, political donation I give... Mm. I uh, I basically I go like this. I take a twenty dollar bill out of my wallet, right? And I go, I'm gonna buy X, and then give the change to a political candidate. Okay, and like so a, that's what I do. Usually, that goes to something like a children's hospital. No, I do it like I put it in my pocket right. in a little envelope Pull it out. with the politician's name on it. X. Okay. Yeah. Like uh, uh, and for you. Right? It was $12.56, right? Yes. So I spent, uh, 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 let's see, seven forty four, right? right? That sounds about right. Yeah. I had a burger and a Coca-Cola. Period. Yeah. And that was it? Yeah, that was your, the meal that I had that's, where I donated the change to you. That's a modest meal. I mean, you could have probably, I mean. It was kind of a fancy burger. Oh, okay. Like a Fat Moe's. I, I don't know what you're talking about. Like a big burger hut. That place? Yeah. A much more appropriately named It had place. those French onions on it. Those crispy, you know what I'm talking about? I uh, Yes, yes, yes. It had those on it. Like an onion-based snack with uh-huh. the generic and barbecue version. sauce it had on it? I like the Worcestershire And version. a pepper jack cheese. Pepper jack? Yeah. That's... This sounds like something I. It was I a good try. burger. I tell you what, I, 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 I'll go out. I'll get a burger for myself. I'll come back with uh-huh. an envelope. And the fries were good too. And the fries. Were, okay, let's back it up. Okay. Because you did not mention fries earlier. I thought I did. No, you did not. Oh, I said a Coke. Yes, I did. I got fries. Are you and being a Coke. dishonest? It was with a me? meal. I understand, and I was trying to get to know you. It was a seven dollar meal, and thanks to the to the low t- sales tax rate. You're welcome. In this state, we had, it was $7.56. Right, but a fancy burger. I mean, $7.44. Right, because that would total to 20 Yes. I'm suspicious now. About with, what? About, about your, your honesty with me. Because you told me you got a burger and a Coke, and now I'm learning about the fries. And you told me about the sheep it and was the cobras. Because it, it, it was a set, you know, it was a meal. A combo. You've been there. What other combos are going on in Bloomfield that I don't know about right now? Because we I don't think I'm getting the do whole story. Have a lot of combos that are uh, not existing somewhere else. 
uh, we have one of those uh, KFC uh, Pizza Hut Taco Bells. Most places just have one or the other, right? They have a Pizza Hut Taco Bell or a okay. Pizza Hut KFC or a Taco Bell KFC or a Taco Bell A&W. You know what I'm talking about? Right. We have a lot actually, of branded because content. we don't have enough people to justify three different establishments okay. or even two. So you have so to- we have a KFC Taco Bell Pizza Hut, one place, and you can get a combo there. You can get a combo there. Right. That's a slice of pizza. Okay. Oz sells it by the slice. Most don't do that. Most don't. Most don't do that. You can do that there in Bluefield. A, a one slice of pizza. Right. One taco. And a single uh, chicken wing. All in one. Combo. It's one combo. And does that come with fries and a Coke? No. Okay. I'm spes- I'm specific. Sp- sp- you're suspicious of that combo? That I am. We actually have a side combo and an appetizer combo. Okay. This goes <laughs> way deeper than I thought. Can I get a drink combo? You can. Goodness me. It's three drinks. So if I wanted to walk to Bloomfield, one, I would have difficulty because there are too many sheep. You would probably get attacked and shaved. But were I to circumnavigate the sheeps, yes. I could walk and do a combination Pizza Well, hut. not right now. It's closed down because it's surrounded by sheep. Goodness me. This is what I'm saying. If you want to try a unique fast food combinations, I do. then you have to clear out these sheep. That is... And if you do, you'll be the hero of Bloomfield. That's, a, that's an award. I'm, maybe I have a little sway with the city council. Okay. Me and the treasurer, we play cribbage together. I've never played cribbage. It's a fantastic game that I highly recommend. It takes wits. Anyway, <laughs> we play cribbage together. Right. I could maybe please sway him to throw some money into some sort of monument in your honor. I would be interested in that. A send bill monument. And so... Mike... Nephew's a sculptor. Oh. How so many I people could... in Bloomfield... Well, my nephew doesn't live in Bloomfield. Oh, he does not? No. Oh, this is... Okay. We can make something work. I have a great sculptor myself. Oh, you do? Yes. My, uh, my second aunt. Oh, wow. Yeah. She, uh, she actually made the goldfish from the crackers. Oh, wow. She invented that. She the made shape. A, the shape of it, yes. And then they made it the cracker. Right. It was uh, R.P. Murphy. Who, wow. Uh, yeah, he saw the statue. Really? And it was, it was titled, actually, Silverfish at the time. Oh, my gosh. And he changed it. He decided that he was going to get into the cracker industry, and he was going to go after them with that design. You know, you're not going to believe this. My great-grandfather was a sculptor. I don't believe it. You already don't believe well, it? Well, you, you prefaced it with, I'm not going to. Well, and... like, I haven't even gotten to the part here that, that I don't think you'll believe. Okay. All right. My great-grandfather was a sculptor. He made a sculpture. I don't believe it. Be... I'm not even there yet. Okay. What part of this is unbelievable to me? You're asking me <laughs> to not believe this. He made a sculpture this. that became the inspiration for the shape of a soda can. No kidding. Yep. Wow. He made a big cylinder with the little dents. And the round part, and, a, and the tab, and he even filled it with carbonated liquid. Really? Yeah. I, I don't, I don't believe it. You don't? <laughs> no. Yeah, he. Do did you want that. me to believe it? He did that, and then the the uh, Coca Cola family, you know, Joseph Coca Cola, right. Mary Coca Cola, Mary Coca Cola, and Mike Coca Cola. Right. That's the kind of relationship I want to have. What do you mean? I want that three-person relationship that the Coca-Cola that the Coca-Cola family, family has. has. That's true. They were. They were really. People don't talk about that much. That they, they don't. Were the first really famous, successful three-way marriage resulted in perhaps the most ubiquitous product in the world. Absolutely. And so I want to be think that. that three-way marriage had anything to do with I it? I have no success? doubt that it absolutely had everything to do with it. I hate to tell you this. I'm an RC Cola man. Oh, my. Is everyone in Bloomfield an RC Cola man or woman? It is the most popular soda choice in Bloomfield. That. All the fast food restaurants break contract. 
That triple I was talking about, they break their Pepsi contract. Serve RC Cola products. That is troubling. We even have RC Cola products that uh, you guys don't have. Like they have their own Sprite. We're in Bluefield. They right. got their own orange, grape, root beer, their own Mountain Dew. So what I'm hearing from what you're saying uh-huh. is that if I were to go to Bloomfield and take yes. care of this sheep problem, yeah. I could walk into a combination Pizza Hut, KFC, and Taco Bell, yes. and I would not be able to get a combo with a Coca-Cola and a Sprite and a root beer. Well, you A&W. can't walk into, I don't mean to correct you, but you can't walk into a KFC, Taco Bell, or Pizza Hut and get a Coca-Cola anywhere in the world. <laughs> Because I would have to get a because Pepsi. they are because they yes because they're a Yum Yum Foods brand. I know which that. has a deep I need history with change. Pepsi and the Frito Lay Corporation. Well, what kind of deep relationship are we talking here? If this uh, well, is well, they used to own Pepsi at one point. Who and did then, Yum, Yum 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 Foods? That is unbelievable. I don't believe it. Well, that's absolutely true. And the other thing I said is true as well. <laughs> I grow more and more suspicious the longer that we talk. What do you mean? You've made quite a few demands of me as your senator, and I have I, been nothing but kind to you, I, you and you I have agree. been nothing but dishonest what with do you, me. Th- Where's the last place right. you tight rope? Okay, I'll come clean. Okay. <sighs> I'm not a tight rope walker. See, that is the most devastating thing you've said yet, because I actually was wanting to hire you for a birthday party. I, I would have fallen and died, probably. And horrified all of your guests. Okay. Well, I guess it's good then. But I wouldn't have said no out of embarrassment that you would find out. I, I relate lying. to that sentiment, sir. But uh, I'm a sheep farmer. You, I'm a shepherd. You are responsible. I'm not responsible. You had too many sheep. I, and the sheep got out. I had, I had some sheep. And I wanted to get an edge on my neighbor, mm. who's also a shepherd. He has more sheep than me. Mm. So I might have gotten a hold of some uranium and done some experiments with the sheep. And now you have hyper-intelligent Hyper-intelligent, and, they, and then they started reproducing. They understood how they could reproduce, and they started building an army. Okay. And they even they uh, reverse engineered what I did, and then they did it to the other sheep, to my neighbor's sheep. They took over his farm. Mm -hmm. Well, first, I want to say thank you for finally being honest with me. I'm sorry I lied. It can't have been easy. I didn't think you'd believe me. I I have a nose for the truth. Honestly, as a senator, that's perhaps my greatest gift. Is I can I can smell out when someone is lying to me, and that's how you won those debates. That is, yeah, that in a, a series of buzzwords. It's true. Yeah, you got the best buzzwords Thank in the you. business. Thank you, liberty, liberty. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, mutual, mutual. Yeah, mm-hmm. AFG. I don't even know what that one is, but I still chant it. That's F- yeah. That's 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 a that's a little secret of mine. I'll give you a little. That's a little secret for for me to you. You you give me your secret. I give you my secret. What AFG? What is it? That is uh. That's an What's it stand for? It's an insurance company. It it's an insurance for, uh, company. All vaccines good. It's a little subtle. Slipping. AFG. All AFG. Yeah. Yes. All vaccines good. Correct. All Interesting. vaccines good. <laughs> And it's it's that little subtle fricative change that, that yeah, uh, that's crazy. It supplants that idea in people's heads, and then I really knock them out by handwriting it on a piece of cardboard and holding it up in the air. Wow! Yeah, and then we chant it mindlessly in the audience. A F G A F G. I love when they get going. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I know they're a, thinking vaccine. I have a bumper sticker on my car that says A F G or shut up. Yeah, that's great. I have one on my car. Honk if A F G. Yeah, and uh, all day. <laughs> Never gets old. So, do you think... Now, I wasn't lying about the KFC Taco Bell Pizza Hut. Okay. They do not serve Coke and products, there though? Is, no, they serve RC Cola. Okay, all right. But I'm telling you, no KFC It's just Taco a Bell lot Pizza to Hut hear and in take the in world right now. Served Coke products. Dr. Pepper? 
They might. They might. I like Dr. Although Dr. Pepper is not Pepsi. That's with the 7-Up Corporation. Oh, goodness me. And so usually could, you'll find that in RC Cola, but not in Bloomfield. In Bloomfield, because it's not technically RC Cola, it's a shared distributor. Right. So I don't know why I know so much about the soda you industry. You are truly a soda genius. <laughs> but but, uh, but so in Bloomfield, RC Cola makes their own versions of Dr. Pepper. Interesting. And Sprite, like I said before. Right. Which is basically 7-Up. Right. But not. I think 7-Up's a little better. The RC Cola one, Bloomfield exclusive, that's the best. All right. I guess I'll have to get down there. I'll right. tell you what. You know, thank you. Yes. I and promise th- to you today. Yes. I am going to take care of these sheep. Oh, my God. I really appreciate that. Absolutely. Sen- Sen- Senbrai. Thank you. It was so nice to meet it you. It was a pleasure to meet you. What was your Th- name? My name? Yeah. I'm going to be honest. Had this whole conversation. No idea who you are. I, my name is Mark Clemens. Mark Clemens. Yes. Great. Like the baseball player. Yeah. I love baseball. Uh-huh. I don't. You don't love baseball? Well, my father uh, was killed during a baseball game. Oh, I can see <laughs> probably a little bit of trauma laying within Yeah, there. so, you know. So, go back into the sheep farming mm-hmm, and dedicate mm-hmm. yourself to your I was pet. a child, and he brought me there, and it was a fly ball. Hit him right in the nose, and his, uh, his uh, the no- bone, the yeah. bone, it went it right into up into his brain. brain. Yep. Same thing happened to my yep. grandpappy. So, uh, ever since then, no, no thank you to baseball. No thank you. I understand. Right. Well, thank you very much for making time I to me today. I appreciate it, Mark. And, yes. Clemens. Yeah, thank you. And just put that and when in the you, top And when you here. get to Bloomfield, look me up. Yeah. I'll take you out to lunch. I would appreciate that. I would appreciate that very, very much. Uh, make sure that you say hey to Carol on the way out. Will and do. Uh, uh, just keep your eye out for those SWAT teams. Okay. Thank you very Absolutely. much. Thank you. Thank you for listening to this episode of audio-based content. You can see my guest, Bill, in Johnny Karsick, Triple Threat, Third Coast Short Film Showcase. Also, uh, he produces my favorite short-form improv show, Infinity Etc. You can see me the second Sunday of every month at 6 p.m. at Third Coast Comedy Club in the lab. You can also see me December 6th in Abyssal of Chutzpah with my friend Jacob Milstein. We're doing uh, a Jewish improv experience. Abyssal of Chutzpah, December 6th, Third Coast Comedy Club. Check out my art and whatnot at aaron felder.com. Uh, send me an email, drop me a line, and be sure to subscribe to the podcast. And if you can, review the podcast. I'd greatly appreciate it. Thank you for listening, and until next time.